Hello, my name is Pop. I'm making a video about lemon point of sale. This is the third video and I'm showing how to do discounts. This is Squeeze, the configuration program for lemon point of sale. This is lemon point of sale itself. And then here's a spreadsheet that shows how to do discounts. Uh, lemon point of sale, when you look at it, runs in full screen. There is no way to minimize or maximize it. The squeeze program has got up in the top right corner a way to minimize and maximize or close the program. I'm using burger, coke, and fries as an example. I've got all three of them up here. The burger is three dollars, the coke is a dollar, and the fries is two dollars and tax is eight and a quarter. I'm going to delete all of the items and start over. We can put in a burger by tapping on it. We could put in coke and fries by tapping on it. We can also go up here and just put in the alpha designator for coke which I have put in as C. If I wanted more than one coke I would put in two times C. I will remove this coke and show you. I'm going to put in two star and C. Now I've got two cokes. The other thing I could have done is tapped in 103. If I wanted two Cokes, I could have put in also two times 103 or two times C. C is my alpha designator. So there's three ways to put in stock. You can tap on the icon you can go up here and put in the numerical designator and if you want more than one you put in that number star I'll put in 12 fries 12 star and then fries is either F or 102 I'll put in F So we've got 12 fries, two Cokes, and one burger. If I change my mind down here and I want to get rid of the burger, I go over here to delete, which is control minus. I can do it also with a control minus. If I want to add another burger, I just tap it. It's changed to two. If I want to get rid of all of them, I can repeatedly go to the top row, highlight it, tap, 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 until they're all gone. There's another way to add burger, coke, and fries. If you think about it ahead of time in Squeeze, you can make a group pack. And when I tap on this, it's burger, fries, and coke. And there they are, burger, fries, and coke. I would prefer if the price, quantity, each, discount, and total were on the top line where it says burger, fries, and coke. And I would prefer if each line had its own individual price, quantity, units, and discount. I would prefer if I could go to the top and give a discount to the group or go to each individual line and give a discount for percentage and if I wanted to change the dollar amount that I could go right here to price and change the dollar amount. I'm going to go over right now to squeeze
and I better delete these items first and I'm gonna bring up burger and here in burger I've got a cost of one dollar and a public price of three dollars and it says here that 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 is a gross profit of two hundred percent actually in uh, in the United States in America in English uh, by convention of the way bookkeepers and CPAs certified public accountants use nomenclature this would be considered markup gross profit is something else that's different uh, let me pull up a calculator real quick and I'll show you how they define gross profit the way you get gross profit is to put in cost and then divide by selling price minus one and that's 67 percent gross profit the markup is 200 percent but the gross profit is 67 percent that's just the way accountants have terminology you can see up here the numerical code and the alpha code down here I do not have checked group pack when I go to the group pack itself when I check group pack it asks me hey what items do you want to put in there and here they are and I can put in a discount for the group pack uh, I didn't put in any discount for the group pack I would like now to go to the spreadsheet and show some of the details of it it's got three dollars for the burger two for fries one for coke and it adds everything up and gets six dollars and it adds tax tax is eight and a quarter percent I take the subtotal and multiply times zero eight, uh, point zero eight two five to get the eight and a quarter percent I've got several kinds of discounts for one thing you can put in a dollar amount discount right here for another thing you can put in a percentage discount right here and it'll calculate the amount when you put in a percentage and put the amount right here another kind of discount is out the door figure if the customer says instead of paying six dollars and fifty cents all I have on me is 590 will you accept that you put in 590 here and it will calculate what the taxes are I'm going to go over these and show them to you for example uh, let's say you're going to give a 75 uh, cent discount you put in 75 cents here and it reduces the subtotal by that amount and then recalculates tax and recalculates total you can put in any figure you want down here is the percentage discount when you put in a percentage figure as soon as I hit enter the next line down will show how that translates into a dollar amount in this case it's 30 cents if I were to change the 5 percent to 8 it changes again and it removes 48 cents from the total change it to 15 and that's pretty straightforward this last one is an out the door figure the guy says well all I've got on me is 590 well you would think at first glance that in order to do that you would say well 
uh, 590 compared to 650, all you got to do is uh, give a discount of uh, 60 cents. But if you discounted at 60 cents, the tax would be wrong. So what this does is tells you how much to put in and it compensates for the tax. So it says put in 55 cents up here. and it comes out correctly to 590. That's a, a, a rather complicated formula. It says, well, if B39 is nothing, put in nothing. Good enough. Otherwise, take the amount due and subtract B39 from it and divide by 1.0825. Well, I've got still yet another method of discounting. I can go to each individual line item and I can change them. For example, instead of three dollars for this burger, I'm going to give it to the customer for a dollar. And it recalculates. It would be really nice if these features were added to Lemon Point of Sale and down here if we had the ability to, to do that and up here the ability to do that. Also I would like in Lemon Point of Sale to accept different forms of payment. Uh, that's not very important in some stores but other stores that's very important. The guy comes in and he says, well, all I've got is a, a dollar on my MasterCard. And then, uh, but I'm maxed out on my MasterCard. And I'm going to give you the remainder in American Express. And let's say he gives you $2 in American Express. And he has a dollar thirty-three left. And then he gives you a $5 bill and that's how much change you give. Uh, that would be a nice feature also. Well, my name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube and this is the third video for Lemon Point of Sale. Thank you very much.